most, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rechakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai. Welcome to another series of current worldwide events being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. This is the latest news as to what is happening in Pakistan and in Afghanistan. And in Pakistan, killing at least 12 people and injuring many more. The a strong earthquake has shaken large parts of northern Afghanistan and Pakistan, killing at least 12 people and injuring many more. The epicenter was in Afghanistan's mountainous Badakhshan province, but the 6.5 magnitude quake was powerful enough to send people fleeing for safety hundreds of kilometers away. Rattling and shaking as the quake went down. Here in the Pakistani mega city of Lahore, the tremors sent residents running out of buildings for the safety of the streets. Hundreds of kilometers away in Islamabad, shoppers also scrambled for the exits of this shopping center. The intensity was so high, it, it felt like something is shaking very rapidly and the sound of rattle still haunting my ears right now. Pakistani officials ordered people to evacuate after cracks appeared in several high-rises, while deaths were reported in more remote areas. Across the Afghan border and closer to the quake's epicenter in Kabul, residents were jolted from their homes as well. It was a very strong earthquake and everyone came running out. Everyone was hoping that the earthquake in Turkey wouldn't happen here in Kabul. People were horrified and scared. But while buildings here remain standing, it's not yet clear how the remote mountainous villages close to the quake centre may have fared. So as you've seen right there, you know, the Lord, the Lord scared those people with a great earthquake that he sent into that particular region. You know, a lot of people said that they hoped that the earthquake which hit Turkey, you know, didn't come to there. And, and as soon as the earthquake did hit those areas, the people were terrified and scared. You see, you know, the problem is that a lot of these people that are in these third world countries, they don't understand the times that we are living in. You see, you know, excuse me, they think that, you know, this is a time of prosperity and trying to find peace and all that. Look, nah, nah, they, they, these ain't those times, man, okay? Okay, we're living in a time of judgment, okay? And, and judgment can lead to, the, the, the end result of the Lord bringing judgment on somebody can lead to several people being killed. And a matter of fact, a couple of people were killed in that earthquake. Okay, Isaiah 29 verse 6 Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder So this this is coming from the Lord Okay, so basically this the Lord is letting you know that he's the one sending these thunders and earthquakes and great noise and storm and tempests So thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake And great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire Okay, and we, what did we see in that video? The Lord sent earthquakes on them. Okay, and that that came in the form of the Lord's judgment. And how come how, how how come the Lord brought that judgment upon them? Right here, Psalms chapter seven, verse eleven. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, judge of the righteous, and Yahweh Bahasham is angry with the wicked every day. So guess what? The Lord is angry with the wicked every day. The Lord is angry with how the world is being managed, how it's being ruled, all all kinds of wicked. Because there's things that happen upon the planet that people do that we don't see or that we are completely unaware of that the Heavenly Father sees 
every single day non-stop on a daily basis and now in the book of genesis it tells you that 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 when when the lord was getting ready to wipe out mankind it tells you that the thoughts of man was only continually evil but thankfully noah found grace in the sight of the lord okay because noah was a righteous person okay so the lord had mercy on noah noah's sons okay and, and noah's wife and noah's son's wives okay because during the time of noah the same things that's going on here on the earth today was going on during the time of noah that's why like in the book of ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9 it tells you that there is no new thing under the sun okay sodomy was going on during the time of noah murder was going on during the time of noah deceit robbery all kinds of witchcraft sorcery and just all manner of, of abomin abominable acts were taking place in the earth. So the Lord, the Lord flooded the earth. And, and he eradicated everybody except Noah, his sons, Noah's wife, and, and, and the wives of Noah's sons. Okay? Because the Lord, the Lord is angry with the wicked every single day. Then if we come over here, okay? No, let's, um... Let's go to Zeph. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. The just Lord, Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, is a just power, a just ruler. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. Okay. That earthquake is a result of the Lord bringing his judgment to light. Okay. These people running, scared, panicking, peeing on themselves, okay? Heart, heart racing through their chest, okay? That, that's the Lord, that's the Lord letting them know that he is displeased with, with, with the wicked acts that are going on on the earth. Why? Because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son are just power. The word just means righteous. So... If the Lord, which the Lord is a just power, so because the Lord is a just power, he's going to execute judgment upon those that are wicked, morally wrong, evil, which is what wicked means. So the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, though we bring his judgment to light, he faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Now let's go to book of Sirach chapter 12 verse 6 for the most high hateth sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly what is an ungodly person an ungodly person is a person who commits immoral or evil acts that's an ungodly person which sums up to what a wicked person is. And the main wicked people on the planet are the Edomites. Which are the, the so-called white man, the so-called elites, drinking it down to the rest of their nation of the people. And keepeth them, reserveth them against the mighty day of their punishment. And guess what? That punishment can come in a firm in, in the form of earthquakes, floods, storms, lightning storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, typhoons, you name it. Which which the world calls natural disasters. Matthew chapter 24 verse 7 for nations shall rise against nation a kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and earth and pestilences and what earthquakes in diverse places which the word diverse means manifold and what do we see here earthquakes happening in afghanistan and pakistan which really came from the lord okay some will say well esau used the heart program well well guess what the lord gave him that technology to use it to execute judgment using the left hand side so the heavenly father controls the left hand side okay the heavenly father through his son yahweh through his son yahweh shai control the left hand side 
okay so this is prophecy coming to pass earthquakes in diverse places with that I'm gonna say Shalom is on to the next one